Hello Tubesers, it's Gav, and yes, it's an impromptu video. The a couple of the guys at the end of my last one, uh, I'd mentioned that Pink Panther was was slowly coming together, and you know, a couple of the guys said, "Oh, they're looking forward to seeing it," which is very kind of you guys. Thank you. Uh, so I thought, "Oh, what the heck?" You know, I, I realised when I got the sides of the wings on and things like that that there'd be even I'd be covering more up. So I thought, "Well, why not?" So this is just done at the moment. It's a fairly simple chassis, which I still managed to stuff up in places. Uh, there's, um, you know, you've got different sink, hole, sink marks and things like that. I've put some sprue glue on, goo on and things. I was going to do that in sections, but I just thought, no, I've got a feeling it's going to be easier painting it all black. Uh, the reason I wasn't going to do all that, because originally I would have thought the underneath of the back body that's on... Let me see, that's what we've got. Uh, we'll use our pink stick to point to a pink uh, Land Rover. Hang on. Right under there uh, was going to be uh, was going to be green, but I'm painting all this black. My idea is I'm going to paint all this black. Uh, the chassis would have been black anyway, from what I've heard. Uh, same as the springs, and uh, then I'm going to um, and obviously do the top rails of the chassis, all the outriggers, all that type of stuff. Uh, this guy, so I'm going to spray the entire Land Rover black. I'm just about to start work putting these side wings on tonight and the, the bonnet uh, and a couple of other bits and pieces. The idea is to paint a black. Then I'm going to put like a, it's, I didn't have bronze green. I've got some other green that I've, I've got. Originally these would have come out of the factory. Uh, this is, as far as I'm aware, this is pre British Army being green and black vehicles. Uh, they were often like a bronze green when they come out of the factory and even for parades into the 70s you'll see them in Germany uh, you know with a nice polished bronze green rather than often they put sand in the uh, the black to, to take off the shine when they put the green and black camo on um, which was quite often done with obviously with brushes and things uh, so this one's going to be bronze green well I, keep saying, I don't think it's actually bronze green that I bought, but a dark green. I wasn't really fussed, really. It's going to be painted pink. Now, I've seen seen it where some guys, which is totally up to them, have, have painted the entire chassis and everything pink. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the Remy, uh, that's a Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers, that look after the vehicles, and they have a weapon section and a, and a vehicle section, and so dealing with these guys here, the vehicle section, this would have come out to them and I know they said they did it in-house uh, I don't think it would have been the, the blokes in the SAS themselves that did it, I think it would have been the, the light aid detachment I might be talking out of turn uh, the light aid detachment would have uh, um, just literally had these, whether they, they had them up on a, a concrete ramp or uh, or even maybe they did have hydraulic jacks, I don't know, you know, to, to take them up but I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't just a just a concrete ramp to drive it up and literally just gone vft along the side. This is a fuel tank here, extra long range fuel tanks. There'll be fuel tanks on, on the outriggers here, which I've shown there should be four, which there are. And then there's another one under the, believe it or not, they are, I always found it strange, fuel tanks under the driver's seat and under the passenger seat. Now I used to have one of these, not obviously a Pink Panther and not a military one. I had a, a short wheelbase 2A uh, called Mabel, <laughs> uh, a farming vehicle, uh, just a short wheelbase one. And it's really taken me back putting the spr putting the springs on and and stuff. You know, it, it's yeah, it's uh, I've worked, I've had most of these bits and pieces off at one time or another, and on not so much on my other two, but uh, definitely on Mabel. But uh, yeah, um, I'm rambling, but there was a reason I was rambling, and as usual, I've completely lost my train of thought. Uh, I've mentioned photo etch. Uh, I've got in the sundial here tonight. Sometime I've got to just fit that here. I find working with the super glue and the and the photo etch really demanding. I've missed a couple out like uh, completely accidentally. I might be able to still do it now, but I don't want to start faffing around now. It's been glued. It's all this is all glued on. This is one piece, but I believe there's a photo etch piece for that which I've totally missed off. Um, even the the posts that they've made uh, to go on for the for the spare wheel that's carried on the front rather than the back. Uh, They've. Um, I've still not 
I might have to fill those bits yet and it's it's not 100%. I managed to lose one of the pinged off pieces. I had to use a bit of pop cam which doesn't look right so I'll have to work that out and try and cover that up somehow. Uh, but yeah, I, so I want all this obviously so I can paint all these guys up here. I mean it's just going to be on a tiny little wooden base um, with a bit of desert round to show, to show the context of it. Um, so you're not going to see the underneath but obviously I've still got to show it to you guys so um, yeah uh, Beetle, Mrs Beetle it's been absolutely fantastic working on this as I say I'm only getting the odd hour and that's why it's taking so long and it's a tour de force just <laughs> learning these tiny micro bits of I mean this little cradle I've had to make up for the for the sundial which yes I know isn't it, <laughs> it's not flat flat uh, I do apologise I'm just doing my best um, this little guy is going to have a bit of plastic uh, cut off and put on as well. Totally, again, this is me. Uh, totally forgot to put the cut off. You have to cut that out. It's too late now uh, for the accelerator, which is just a piece of bent metal. Um, but that's just going to have to do. Sorry, there you go. There. There's lots of other bits to fit in around here yet of the photo etch variety. I could have taken the the uh, dials off at the front, speedo and that, and I actually thought no. I actually quite like that the way it is, so I've not through laziness, just I just thought it looked better, so I've kept that on. Uh, tonight we've got uh, we've got the steering box here. Uh, when I've had the steering wheel put through and everything, uh, as I say, no engine, so bonnet's going to go on. Um, there is photo etch stuff. I'll show you the, if I've got it here. Hang on a second. So hang on, let's just fit that back on. It won't go on now. You watch. But I've had, a, I've had a load of fun doing this. I've still got the front springs the wrong way around, by the way, guys. <laughs> it couldn't be Gav Bill without it. Luckily, I'd only just put them in, and I was just looking. I think it's semi don't look right there. God, I've changed enough of those springs in my time. Uh, right. So, yeah, that's how. Sh that's all we've got so far, guys. Uh, also, another Gav stuff up. I, I like to tell it like it is. <laughs> uh, back here, there's, there's, a, there's a... Before you put the two halves of the wheel together... There's a, um, or the back, it's not two halves, it just sits on the back there. There's a, a round disc which has then got the, what they're pretending is the, the brake drum, because these are drums, not discs, and completely left them out. <laughs> that model is simple. The Beatles even gave me this model to, 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 you know, learn a bit on, and I still can't even do some simple thing like that, so I had to cut the cut the rest of the residue out and leave this gap here which I'm not that fussed about because it's it's almost like the 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 drum sitting in there anyway and, and you won't see it I've just I've got some glue goo around there which I've just got to sand off again tonight as well but wheels aren't going on it yet anyway so if I just move that out aside I'm just going to quickly right these are what I've got left so I've got bits and pieces left. The figure I won't be using, he'll go into my spares box. I'm undecided, I might use, I'm not, it's not that I'm not impressed with the photo etch sand ladders, but the sand ladders that I've all, I've, I've used, I have to move a couple of, not that I've been in the desert, but um, I've had to move sand ladders around on, on military vehicles and they're quite weighty and quite chunky and I just think I'm not 100% sure even when I push the holes out slightly on the photo etch ones if they won't if they'll look uh, any better to be honest with you uh, so there's a complete back tub still t to go on yet and obviously lots of bits and pieces and we've got the we've got the gym piece here general purpose machine guns as we like I said before we call them gym piece so go in the, the front and the, the back, uh, smoke canisters, uh, theodolites and that. So yeah, we've got you know a few bits and pieces to go, but it's once the back body is glued together, so a lot of the little pieces I've, I'm going to have to obviously um, build and paint separately. So there we go, guys. Not as quick as I thought it might be, but as it's one of Gab's videos. But no, really enjoying it. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So I just thought if you guys were kind enough to show interest at the end of that other video, I thought, no, what the hell, let's put a, a video up showing where we are. Thanks a lot, guys, and thanks for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. And, uh, I, I, you know, hopefully I'll have some more videos on the, on the pinky coming up. Cheers, guys.